Hey guys, just like to ask if you could like and subscribe and comment on the video with any thoughts you might have had because it goes a long way towards helping support my channel. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Amori. Um, so we've been in the kind of like overworld, uh, whatever whatever it's called versus the the dream world. Um, we were doing a little, like, bunch of errands with Kel. Um, come home. They're saying that um. Uh, Basil's, I don't know if it's her, his caretaker, his sister, or his mom, one of the three, but um, they come around saying that they haven't seen Basil in a while. We saw him earlier at the park. We came looking for him. We found um, Aubrey and his gang, and her gang, um, trying to kick him out of the area, and um, she got really angry at him and ended up pushing him into the lake, and then Sonny goes to save him, is also drowning, but Hero, and I'm assuming the rest of them, saved them both. Now we're trying to get Basil to somewhere where he can warm up. That's true, dude. Meow. Can we lay him down at like a bench or something? Oh. Oh. I saw that and just knew of like, oh, I know what they're gonna pull here. Are we supposed to take him back to their house, maybe? Maybe to his house? Looks like Basil's really safe. Should bring him back home. Okay. Got it. Okay, we'll bring him home. Yeah, it's wild story. He almost drowned. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? Breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Go. Come inside quickly. It's like, even if he's, like, completely okay here and wakes up and he's okay, he's fine, I'm still worried about him. And what he, whatever he's going through. Especially knowing that, like, there's a bunch of crazy shit going on in, like, the other world, you know? Where he's missing, and we saw him in that hole, and we tend to follow him. I'm, I'm really worried about Basil's well-being. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. It's like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard it from Mom that Basil was missing that you two went looking for him. When I went running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. Guess I got there right in the nick of time. So what was happening back there? Aubrey, she pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She's come all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on. Let's go home. Yep. <laughs> I love them both. Uh, <laughs> like, the... The slightly grown-up versions of Kel and Hero, I'm already... I love them both. And, you know, I love Sonny and, and, and Amori in the same token. And what he's going through, I love him as a character. Even, like, though she's dealing... She's... There's so much more to this than, than I think has been told to us so far when it comes to Aubrey and Basil. But I, I just know that there's going to be some reason that it actually, even if it's, like, not completely okay what she's been doing, there is reasons for it. I, it's like, the Aubrey that we that we know and love is in there, you know? That is what I'm kind of get at. Like, she didn't become so angry and resentful for no reason. And, like, there's going to be, like, some reason for it and and you know I still love the person she was and and, and in a sense the person she is. You know Sonny, you're pretty awesome back there. Jumping in the lake to save Basil like that? Even if you're ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Yes. Of course I high five Kel. Look <laughs> I said no we just go back to their house. Well, today was a roller coaster. 
Yeah, I, you can just kind of. Oh, hey. Since any evil presence coming from inside my home, maybe I'm overthinking it. I can never be too careful. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What is the evil presence in here? Is it Jesus? Cardboard cutouts of a pair of twins. There's something stuck in the back. What? Find a note. Seems we've gone missing. Couldn't have gotten too far. Find us, dear little brother. Sign. Daffy and Bo and your lovely old submarine. So what the fuck is going on? What is this? Turn over the rug and find two fluffy pillows. <laughs> the note at the back. The oldest trick in the book. Can't believe you'd actually fall for this. Signed, Daphne and Bowen, your lovely older siblings. What the fuck is this? Okay, let me double check the bathroom because maybe I was missing something. Hold on. Check behind the statue. We did not find anything of interest. Yeah, they're going to be around somewhere. A mirror. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> This has to be Maverick, true. Mikhail. You open the curtains and find more cardboard cutouts. There's a note in the back. You think we only have one cardboard cutout of ourselves? That would be much less cost effective. I have to vote. You're all so a secret button. Probably better to ignore it? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? Okay, I had to double check that window and see if that wasn't like just a person behind there. What the fuck is going on? I don't want to ignore the statue. It's not better to ignore it. I don't know what you're talking about. What in the world is going on here? Nothing special about it. <laughs> and a note. Oh, hum. Looks like your trial is going cold. How unfortunate. Bread fills the air. Did not find anything of interest. Would hope not. Did not find anything of interest. I didn't realize there would be so much going on in this. That's what you think they are. Oh god, this house has to be paranoid as fuck. A photo of a stranger. Probably just, I don't know, their parents or something. But I'm still just like really concerned. Found a hidden switch, probably better to leave it alone, I guess. to look around a bit better, it seems. Would they be in his room? Boo! <laughs> Got you good, didn't we? Hey, wait a second. You're not our darling little brother. Our little brother's too cool for us now, isn't he, Bowen? Doesn't he have time to play games with his loving, si loving older siblings anymore? Yes, Daphne, it is very regrettable. Uh, we barely get any time off work, and when we do, little Mikhail is never around to play with us anymore. It's unfair, isn't it, Bowen? Life is too cru so cruel. That's fine. Now we have some new friends, though. Not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends. Yes, entertain us. 
What? <laughs> You've got nothing? That's too bad. Well, it's very fun, but we get bored quite easily. Come on. Let us think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friends. This has been pleasant. What the fuck just happened? Oh, so you've conquered the great evil. What did it cost you? You can still see the pain in your eyes. <laughs> Brother and sister are a real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. What, do your parents do that too? Um, so if I look around, will I see the other kids? Oh, let me go back up to Aubrey. Wait, there's that cat. Hold on. Hold on. I saw a cat. The cat. You said the same thing, but in a different spot. go back and see if Aubrey's still up there. Cat. I don't remember which house is hers. I think it's in the bottom left somewhere. Blue picnic basket, nothing like Mari's. Oh. Well, hold on, what's this? I'm gonna see Shep. Okay, I'll go find that one girl and give it to her. Which house was she in? I'm gonna need to check every house, aren't I? Fuck. I don't remember where she's at. I think she might be next to Kel and Hero's house, but I don't know for sure. Uh, let me check out here real quick first. See if there's anything different. Any episode another late. Don't tell me I've been stood up. Today is the wedding anniversary for my husband and me, but he hasn't mentioned it all day. I wonder if he's forgotten. Hope not. Uh, I don't, you're, you're not gonna be in here. Hold on. Need a so nice soft drink. Working on my next big project. Need something to keep me alert. Also, by the way, that fight that we had with, like, Aubrey's whole group, like the whole hooligans, hooligans group, it might be that it is possible to win that fight. But it's, like, just really difficult. Maybe get, like, something secret if you do manage to do it. But it's, like, really hard to manage, you know. That could be the case. So I'm gonna check every house. No response. So I feel like a lot of the, their gang might... Yeah, there's two people here. I think it's Kim and... I don't know what Kim's sibling was. Yeah, that was it. Oh, hey, what's up? You're so calm. Aren't you gonna challenge us to a fight or something? I don't really have the being beef with any of you. Me and Kim just always do the same stuff together. I'm only one year older than her, but no one believes me because of my beard. See, I went through similar shit when I was younger. When I was, like, getting a mustache way before everybody else, and I'm like, do, do people think I'm an adult? Aubrey, why don't you tell me what's wrong? Ah! Just you two. I think you can just barge into people's rooms like this. It's an RPG, of course I can. I made friends with my mom, huh? Shuts in anybody who listens to her talk. And that includes me. Bathroom. So part of me is wondering if, like, Kim maybe has a thing for Aubrey. I could see the game going in that direction. It might not even, like, be anything remotely important to the game, but it could be just, like, a side little detail you might notice. There's a scooter one of them loves here. I love that, like, they're all very, like... Outside of maybe Kim and the Maverick, they're all, like, really chill when they're on their own, it seems like. Hello, my name is Carlene. Hey, you stop that. Behave yourself, ma'am. Don't hey, don't attack me. 
not the turn to play right now. Charlene, I thought your name was Charlie this whole time. Hiya, Charlene. I'm Kel, and this is Sunny and Hero. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Just in case. Might be able to pick up some like story detail. Why? Young yellow bun granny. Oh hello again. I must thank you again for having me get my medicine yesterday. Your kids remind me of my two of my sons when they were young. These two were quite different from each other, but got along very well. People would always say they balance each other out. Heck heck. Man, I look at them. I'm turning 64 this year. I had seven kids in my lifetime, but everyone's moved out except for my eldest son and my youngest daughter. You know, the son never leaves his room, though, so he probably won't even ever leave. Just him up here? That's her room, I'm guessing. Then maybe he's in here? Oh, yeah. Step back, you omnipotent worm. I almost maimed you. My condolences, my time in the arena has left me on the edge. A bit of a gladiator, as it were. Ah, I remember my days in the constable. Now I perpetuate my powers of impunity and the unspeaking combatants that decided to traverse their souls into fairest of my ugh, no hands. I need not the shelter of a mighty utensil. The break of the crowd as they rode for more. Just be careful around me. I am dangerous. two years already, but I barely know anything about him. He should open up about himself more. I just want to help. Oh, Sonny. There's no way out of this, is there? Poor Basil. There's so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please, get some rest. Come back for you tomorrow. I don't like the way he's saying that there's no way out. That's really concerning to me. son go to the fix to buy a new lamp for my living room, but he's taking his sweet time. Bah, he's always so slow with these things. I wish someone would tell him to hurry up. I don't have all day. I can go do that. Look at them run. They are in quite a hurry. Lamp dude, hurry up. Who are you? What do you want? Was I all asking for me? Tell her to wait. I'm the one going out of this way to pick out a floor line that I don't even care about. Besides, she's so picky. I don't know why she doesn't just do it herself. A trash situation. Four arms of trash. You're trash. It all makes sense to me now. This world. This world's nothing but trash. Hey you, my mom wants your lamp so bad, why don't you get it for her? Yep. 
eat off the train. I've got better things to do. I'm not sure. I think she might go for blue. How do I pick one out? Can I just buy it up here? Yes. It would be funny to just keep it $50, but... Here's where that guy went. <laughs> it's four X a fashion bomb. Oh my, what a nice floor lamp. Thank you, you have impeccable taste. Where's my son Billy? You just go into one of his tantrums and run off again? So temperamental. You should make such a big deal out of everything all the time. Anyways, you're already thoughtful for getting this lamp for me. Please come over anytime. Make a mean cup of coffee. Probably gonna come in handy later. Is it gonna be a thing where, like, we unlock all these houses? Pretty strong. I'll take some. Yes. houses aren't just copy pastes. I mean, like, each house is like an individual... It's got its own thing going on. Like, each family is different. You get into each house and know the people there in different ways. I like that's not just one thing. you guys again. You come from World Sport or what? <laughs> really appreciate it. Come on in. I'm almost done fixing that dang leak. Can Hero do it? Is Hero going to be the one to fix the leak for him? Yeah! <laughs> and good riddance. Gonna be, yeah, I was going to say it's going to get worse. Switch off, look into the man shaped hole, and find a seashell. Oh, that's handy. Oh, God, he went. That moment when you break through two whole walls of your house. drop off seashells with that one girl and then I think that might be it for this today. We'll see whatever happens at Hero's house. Okay, I've already been in there. I think this is where the seashell girl is. Hey fellas, how's it hanging? Seems like I lost my TV remote again. I'll go to the bathroom. 
Okay, it's gonna be around here somewhere, I guess. Could be in the bathroom. Got you some seashells. Okay, I'm not peeking. How many seashells do you need? Finally done. Thanks for collecting all the cute seashells for me. Here's the one I made for you. Got a seashell necklace. Nice. I can share that feeling with someone else. Aww. Hope it reminds you of your time here. Good luck with everything. I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, thank you. Maybe a story thing that happens, whatever. There you go. Truly broad deed we've done. Okay, so now I think. Yes, you are a good boy, Hector. Let's play with Hector. Look at him go! Oh. Yes, good boy, Hector. Good news, we found Basil and he's safe. Hm. I'll have you know, I spent all week preparing this chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And... Got cold. Oh, Mom. Please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom. That's what my braves are for. Oh, my poor dinner. There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. No need to be sad. Look, you're us back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. There's no time for snuffles. Good to see you back here. We've all missed you so much. We are. Sounds like Sally's awake. I'm gonna go get her. We get to meet Sally. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go up yourselves to dinner. Cool. 
cool, let's go grab some food and heat it up. Got a home cooked meal, but it's cold. Heat it up using the microwave. Whew, now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. So good to see you again, Sonny. It really has been way too long. Good to see you again, too, Kel. So, Sonny, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. Sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. You might seem kind of nerve wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it'd be good for you, Sonny. Learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. A little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Uh, we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. Went to the park, the lake, the beach. And also, I miss the most hanging out at your place, Sonny. You guys had everything. Big TV, all of toys, grand piano. Of course, our very own treehouse. Are we going to end up going to that treehouse? Yeah, the treehouse is awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Sonny? Saved by the microwave. You don't have to answer questions. <laughs> Looks like the food's done. See you in the living room. Continue chatting there. Okay. I'm supposed to. Oh, I forgot my mom cooked dinner for tonight. You know how she is in the kitchen. I'm sure to tell her how good the food tastes. Supposed to. Okay, blow room? Okay. Yeah, okay, I see. By the way, Hero, Basil gave Sunny his photo album yesterday. Do you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's look through the album while we eat. Dinner. My first photo. My best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. Is this stuff I read before? I don't, I don't know if I read all this. Yeah, I think I... I think this... Yeah, I think all of this I've seen before. Unless there's something added. This all seems like stuff I've read before. Too bad some photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil. We got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? You okay? Yeah, it's just that, well, Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right. She isn't. Still, this album really brings back some good memories. They were a lot simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> Sonny, no favor to ask. Think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Well, that's a good idea. You gotta convince Mom first. Probably gonna be kind of mad about it, you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know she is. Come on, baby! Whew, what a mess that was. Sorry, I made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Wee, a bull! Hey there, Sally! Peekaboo! Stop it, Kelly, you're scaring her! <laughs> so, uh, hey, Mom. I wonder if we can go hang out at Sonny's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh, but you just came back. It's already so late. I'm not spending time with your mom. You'll be here for the rest of the summer, and Sonny's leaving the day after tomorrow. You have plenty of time to catch up. It's okay for her to spend some time with Kel and Sonny. I haven't seen Sonny around here for, so, for a long time now. It's been a while since boys have had the chance to hang out. Say we should let them. Fine then. You boys can have your fun. But here I has to wash the dishes with me for next week. Sure, I, I guess I can do that. 
All right, you're free to go. Come on, Sally, get your, let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? Oh, Mom. Don't fret about your mom too much, Hero. She just misses you, that's all. It's a little better after she calms down. You guys go out and do your thing. Make sure she's okay. I don't know if I should be ending the episode or if it, this is going to be short enough to fit here. Hey, so I'm really glad we get to hang out and everything. I also feel pretty bad for living all alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I've already got flowers, actually. Oh, I see you have flowers already. I we should get my mom some fresh ones, though. Fix it isn't that far off. Anyway, fuck. <laughs> Wasting my money. I see these flowers. What are they at? Are they snacks? No. These flowers apparently aren't fresh enough for you. I see how it is. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm going to stop here and I'll see you all next time in Amori. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you.